Hey guys, it's Matt. Um, I'm going to do a video tonight for techynotes.net, one of my other blogs. And um, I have a problem. And the problem is I've forgotten my password to my virtual machine. So if I type my typical password for this machine, doesn't work. Not even the other one. So, uh, what we can do is we can build a password reset disk. And I have a little tutorial I wrote today on how to do that. It's on my uh, other blog. It's called techynotes.net. If you click right there, you'll see forgot Windows password, how to reset Windows password. And um, it's a pretty extensive little tutorial, so I wanted to go ahead and create a video just in case some people got lost, um, which might be easy to do. So let me refresh this. Okay, better. So um, I'll go ahead and get started right away. What you'll need with this, um, I forgot something here. You'll need a PC or a Mac, another PC or a Mac with a CD DVD burner. You can also do this to a USB stick, but I'm going to limit this tutorial to just a uh, a disk. You need a copy of the password reset software. I provided a link right there. Um, comes from this website, pogostick.net. It's a great little uh, utility, and you'll also need an ISO burner. And in this tutorial, I'll be using Image Burn. So I'll go ahead and download the software. And we'll go ahead and save that. And then I'll go ahead and download Image Burn. And you can see Image Burn is starting to download now. And we'll save that. And. Let me just go ahead and click back. Okay. So hang on a second. I need to grab a disc. So one thing I forgot to include is you'll need a a DVD, a blank DVD or a blank CD. So I'll be uh, right back. Okay, I'm back. So we've downloaded those uh, those two things. Let's uh, go ahead and go to our downloads and let's install Image Burn. So you can see it says set up image burn 2.5.7. We'll go ahead and say I agree. Uh, make sure you uncheck this ask bullshit. Nobody wants to install ask. It's uh you know, I know that image burn is being paid for the ask toolbar, but it's the worst thing, one of the worst little pieces of uh bullshit you can install toolbar wise okay so we've installed it and we'll go ahead and close out of that so now what we need to do is we need to get our uh, bootable uh, password reset disk going and you can see I've downloaded it right here it's called CD110511 and if we double click it we can just go ahead and, just to make it easy to find, we can just go ahead and drag it to our desktop. And I'll go ahead and open up Image Burn. And once you're in Image Burn, uh, all you have to do is click the first button, write image file to disk. We need to actually make this disk bootable so that we can boot our computer to it. Uh, allowing us to reset our lost Windows password. So we'll go ahead and select a file. Just click this little uh, folder right here. And on the desktop, we've got our CD, whatever. We've got our password reset disk there. We'll go ahead and hit open. And we'll go ahead and hit write. And it should only take a few seconds to write that it's a really small file. I think it's like four or five megabytes. <clears throat> and 
And I'm going to go ahead and verify because I think my um, DVD burner on this demo computer is dying, so make sure it's okay. So yeah, I get a lot of these calls. I would say at least, um, boy, at least once a month, maybe twice. You know, somebody forgets their password and they're stuck. I mean, without your Windows password, you just have a giant doorstop. I mean, unless you're going to go ahead and reinstall the operating system, that's no good. So uh, using this tutorial, it's like 22 steps or something like that. I I wrote it out as best I could, but it's it goes by pretty quick. You'll see how quick it actually goes. So, um, uh, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and shut down my computer that I can't figure out the password on. takes a few seconds obviously and I'm gonna go ahead and we'll leave it like this I guess yeah it's physical drive okay so what we need to do now is once our computer shut down and I believe we're on let's see uh, let me see what step I'm on just so you can see that I'm kinda following along with this guide from memory um, yeah so I'm at step 8 shut off the computer uh, now we need to boot the computer to the disk we just burned. This involves accessing your BIOS or boot menu as soon as your computer starts. We'll either need to tell the BIOS to boot from the CD uh, first or use one of the function keys like on a Dell you can hit like F12 and you know choose your boot manager. I think maybe HP is I don't even know F9 or F10. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. This is kind of tricky for my virtual machine because it goes by so fast, but let's assume that I don't know the function key to choose my boot manager. So what we can do in that case is I can go ahead and try to hit escape or F1, F2. What Basically, we just need to get this computer to boot to this disk that we just made. So I'll power on the machine. And I know for virtual machines, I have to hit escape to access the bio slash boot. Okay, perfect. So I hit escape, and now I have a boot menu. So for me, it's escape. For you, it might be F10, F12, F11. You just know, you have to look up on your computer to see how to actually um, boot your computer to the boot menu. So in your documentation, you may have to do a little research on the internet. Um, so anyway, we can go ahead and go down and choose CD-ROM or I'm sorry, yeah, CD-ROM drive and you'll come up to this screen right here looks confusing, just hit enter and you're like, whoa you know, if you're not familiar with <laughs> with computers DOS-wise or command prompt wise it kind of freaks you out a little bit but if you read um, I don't have a mouse, but if you read it's not too complicated. So what we're going to go ahead and do, I think right here, I just hit enter. So I'm basically just clicking enter and choosing defaults. So it says, what is the path to the Windows, to the registry directory? Um, I don't know. I'll just hit enter. Okay. And it says, um, select which parts of the registry we want to go ahead and uh, edit we want to go ahead and choose the first option which is one uh, password reset so we'll choose one okay it says it's got it went ahead and loaded some stuff um, so it says loaded hive sam system security so edit user data and passwords that's another one so we have to click one And it says, okay, which account do you want to go ahead and reset? And we're going to reset our accounts to just a blank password. And then I'll show you how to change your password in Windows later. So we have an account. We have administrator. We have guest. And we have reviews. I want to go ahead and reset my reviews account. So I'll type in reviews. 
and I'll click enter. Uh, I'm going to choose the first option. Clear. Blank user password. Alright, so it says password cleared. It's kind of you'll you'll miss that if you're not, not if you're not looking for it. Um, it says select uh, bang to quit, which is the exclamation mark. So I'll select that. And I'll go ahead and hit Q for quit because I'm done resetting my password. And I will, it says right here, this is a little tricky. So step four, writing back the changes. So nothing's been changed yet. So it says about to write back files. Do it. And the default is no. You want to make sure you type a yes. So why? And it says edit complete. You can try again if this failed or something like that. No, we don't want to do a new run. We're done. So we'll hit N. And basically we're done. It says you can control alt delete. I find that barely ever works. Uh, I usually just shut the computer off at this point. So I'll power off my computer. And I'll turn it back on. So there's no need to boot to that CD anymore. We can go ahead and just eject it. You know, go ahead and label it for future forgetfulness. And we're starting Windows again. So all these steps, I took screenshots and everything. I, I put it on um, Techie Notes. So you know, if you've got somebody who's got this issue, you can go ahead and refer them to uh, that post. I'll also put the video on that post as well. <laughs> so this is also nifty if somebody's locked you out of your, out of your computer and you want administrative access. Not that I'm condoning that, but that's what this is mostly used for. <laughs> so, uh, so I haven't tested this on the virtual machine, so I really hope that this works. Otherwise, I've got to go back and edit this video and see why. Okay, yeah, so it worked. It logged me right in. Awesome. So that's it. I reset my password. So now how do I change my password uh, back to something I know? You can actually just hit control at delete. Let me make sure that I'm on the right control at delete because I'm running a virtual machine so it's a little confusing. But control at delete, you can change your password. My old password's blank. I'll type in my new one. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> so I don't have a password on that one. I'm not sure what it's talking about. That should do it though. But I didn't really test this for the video. So anyway, oh, I was changing the wrong one. So yeah, I'm in a virtual machine, so it was pulling up my main computer instead. So just ignore what I said, basically. <laughs> Let me hit cancel this and then see if it brings it. Uh, I can't do it on the virtual machine. It's all jacky. There's another way to do it. I got to manage. Okay, yeah, it's probably not in here. I'm too used to working on a domain. Let's go over to here to user accounts. <laughs> Change your Windows password. No, that was it. So never mind. I can't do it for some reason. But anyway, I digress too much here on the end here. Um, yeah, so this basically reset it to blank before I couldn't log in. So that's how that works. So anyway, um, I'll go ahead and just upload this video. If any of you guys got questions, you can just let me know.
But yeah, everything I just did is basically um, right here on this uh, post. So screen by screen. And if obviously you can't read any of this crap because it's way too small, but if you click it, it brings up um, you know a bigger image. So uh, so that's it. So I don't know. Gonna go ahead and um, cook up some more videos. Um, I'm working on two logos right now for my blog. So Techie Notes is extremely basic, you know, black, white, boring stuff. So I'm gonna be working on a new logo for that, and then a uh, new logo for the Remove Dash Malware site. So busy with all that junk. But more videos, more videos, more videos. That's really where I get uh, um, all. Uh, my accolades, I guess. Anyway, I'll see you guys. Whoops. I meant to hit F10.